So you upgrade it to 2021 and suddenly playback is insanely slow. Okay, click. Click. About two seconds. It took about two seconds. You can see at the bottom right, when I press space, you see it. So let's try again. Freaking heck. Oh my god, this, this freaking playback. Anyways, so you can see CPU is not doing anything or very little. GPU 0 aka Intel on CPU graphics is doing nothing and GPU 1 is doing something. It's doing something but mostly it's encoding this video that I'm recording right now. Oh yeah actually it is noticeable. Video decode. You can see it's 0 0 0 and if I start jumping over here and pressing space and then it takes forever to... to, to freaking heck! Oh my goodness, it takes so freaking long and you can see there is a spike in video decode. Anyways, the solution is to go to Edit Preferences Media and you have to just get in a room with the H264 HEVC Hardware Accelerated Decoding with Intel and NVIDIA. Just talk it out. We're gonna start by disabling Intel. So let me just click here and press space. Two seconds approximately. And it warned us if we go to Preferences uh, Media it does say requires restart. So what if we just disable NVIDIA and Intel? Oh, actually, never mind. We can see that disabling both, disabling this and this, disables the parent setting as well. So what if we only keep Intel on? We can see Intel is doing nothing. Let's save and close and restart Premiere. Okay, so the setting now is Intel only. And I think I see Intel doing something there already. Yep, it's starting to work. Interestingly enough, this, I think, is actually the setting in 2020. I think from 2019 to 2020, I'm not sure, but I think. They recently introduced GPU decoding using QuickSync using Intel. And let's give, a, let's give it a try, like click, space. Nah, it's pretty much still two, two seconds. Also, zooming in and out of a timeline is weirdly slowed down, especially during playback. Let's go to Edit Preferences Media and let's, well, let's completely just freaking disable it. And since it requires restart, let's just not even try. Let's just yes and restart. All right, we are back. Let's let's do it again. Click play. That was a freaking delay, but it's not decoding. That was a super long delay, but if we keep trying around the same area in the timeline, it gets better. All right, this is definitely better. You can see click space, it's definitely less than two seconds, e even definitely less than one second. There is definitely a huge improvement. You can see the CPU is being used much more. There is no video decoding going on on the uh, RTX 2070S. There is no video decoding going on on either of the GPUs. Apparently, there is a huge bottleneck for playback when it comes to video decoding in Premiere Pro when you try to not use the CPU. So uh, there you have it. Go to pr Edit Preferences Media and just disable hardware accelerated decoding. Please tell me in the comments what kind of graphics card you have and what kind of CPU you have. I have the RTX 2070 Super and I have 10700K CPU. However, with GPU decoding enabled, my performance was worse than when I used to have an i5-6600 with the GTX 750Ti. All right, so I was actually worried I would have to go back to 2020. Thankfully, that is not the case. And I can play back in speed, even though it does eat up my CPU. Yes, yes, it certainly does. I hope this helped and I hope I saved you uh, your nerves a little bit. See you next time. Ciao.